I've created so many Toy Story customs, I am running out of space in my display cabinet. These IKEA Detolf shelves are really restrictive because Toy Story toys are so huge. Like one Rex and a ham, and that's it, you can't put anything else. I don't even have space for my custom little tights, and they are just crashing with the one six skill Spider-Man figures, which you can put like 5 of them in a shelf. Or for 112 skill figurines like my Kamen Rider collection, you can use some display risers to really maximize the entire space. For Power Rangers as well, where they have their own dedicated theme, these 40x40 40 40 CF cubes work great. However, for Toy Story, I bought an IKEA Billy bookcase, which is 80 cm wide, basically 2 detolves, and they are really tall at 2 meters. But as you can see, they are really messy right now. So today, I want to rearrange them to display all my Toy Story creations together. First, let's take a look at what we have to work with. We have our small fry toys casually hanging out with some Yu-Gi-Oh cards display. Let me open the glass doors to get a clearer look. We have our Avengers collection down here. We have a lot of albums of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They are actually bootlegs Chinese cards, but they are incredibly made. Like, take a look, the foils are nice. They have indented names. Even the watermark is replicated perfectly. Honestly, I just wanted to collect the pictures. And the entire set is like 3 bucks. They come in a little metal tin like this. And they included every single card for that particular booster set. And it's amazing. Even these metal cards display are really well made fakes. Anyway, here we have a hey, our custom 100k play button, some scrap hit sculpts I made for the channel, Peacemaker Bast, Pikachu with a broken tail. For the bookcase on the left, we have some repainted digivices. Let's take a closer look. Oh, holy moly! A sudden snake attack from a green Doraemon. Ugh. Yes, I have two. No, they are not the same. One is fluffier and has a wink, okay? Don't judge me for my obsessive collecting habit. And Pink Bear. Chuckers, a custom box with my logo on it, huge Benson, Lotso, and more Avengers. Just really, really messy stuff. Well, on the right, we have a custom Stinky Pete that I bought for reference purposes, and a broken Stinky that I need to fix. Some Pokemon comics and a mannequin of the Green Ranger. This is my complete Digimon Tamagotchi collection display with and without boxes. Uh, the the tape has given way. But yeah, that's what we have now. Oh, and uh, my Power Ranger display is behind and another mannequin. Well, let's get to work by removing all the albums. What I want to do is to remove this glass shelf so that I can put the main characters like Woody here. That's why we have to remove everything above. Time to go to sleep, small fry toys, and goodbye my Yu-Gi-Oh card. Oh my, look, look at the moles on the inside of the glass doors. I'm just gonna wipe it down real quick and also clean the shelvings a little, which are not really dusty, thanks to the dust strips I applied on the gaps of the glass doors. I do apologize for the distortion because I'm trying out my GoPro and I'm using the white lens, but I fixed it afterwards, so I will cut off this footage of me uh, rearranging the shelf. Basically, I moved the shelf up, that's it. And now we can migrate our toys over. Hey Buzz, time to go to your new home. Let's grab Jesse and Woody as well. Don't forget his hat and the stats. Sorry, I gotta take some photos for the grams. You know how it is. So Woody used to sit because he's too tall for the detolf, but now he can finally stand and I love it. But for Jesse, which is due for a big over, it's harder to stand because of her wobbly head. I know it's true to the film, but it's not good for display. I also have a white logo bullseye, finally out of the box, to be displayed. Please, Jesse, stop falling asleep, damn it. Unfortunately, the Billy bookcase is too shallow. It's only 30 cm deep, and Bull's eye is popping out too much, and the door is slamming into his face. So I'm going to remove the base and just use the stand to prop him up, and hopefully we can find a good anchor point to balance him. Okay, fixing Jesse for the hundredth time. Bull's eyes, please. I have no patience for this. Speaking of patience, people kept asking me how I kept my sanity from the sending and post-processing of all the creations that I've printed. Well, I actually have a little screen on the side to keep me occupied, and on this phone, we have Netflix and Surfshark VPN. I swear I've rewatched multiple shows so many times while I work, and I am running out of them, but Surfshark VPN came to our rescue to unlock so many region-locked shows like The Office. It is not available in Singapore, but with just a few clicks, 
I'm in the UK and we can watch all 9 seasons of The Office. But it's not just used for entertainment purposes, because Surfshark VPN is vital to keep your information secure, especially when you are using public Wi-Fi by encrypting all your data. And I think the best feature is that you just need to pay for one subscription and you can share it with your friends and family with unlimited devices. What an insane deal at the start of this brand new year to try something new and support our channel at the same time by safeguarding your data with Surfshark VPN. Make sure to click the link below for an exclusive 5 extra months using my code and you will also get a 30 days refund guarantee. Thank you Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Okay, now we have Rex. Just adjusting him so we can shut the door properly. Now I'm gonna put him above. No. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Mrs. Potato Head, Mr. Potato Head, Bucket O Soldier, and yeah, I think the main shelf is done. We can move up to the next one with Slinky, which I fixed with some glue. Mm, I'm not sure. I feel like there's too big of a blank space here, and I think I can fix it with some Barrel of Monkeys. Just gonna hang some monkeys down here and yeah, it looks better now. And to form some kind of symmetry, I think the jump rope will look good hanging down on the right with the soldiers sliding down. Alright, so here we have the Tinker Toy Podium and the Do the Pet that Woody used. Here's my rare accurate edge sketch. Well, I guess the top shelf will be for props then. I really wanted to put the baby monitor, but the antenna is too long. But we can put the other one sideways for the soldiers to carry. I also put some risers for the aliens and the little tykes car. And we are going to place all the tykes on the shelf. What do you think so far? I think it's pretty good. Oh, let's not forget the magic 8 ball and the yo-yo that the crew of Toy Story 2 received as gifts. And it's done. Finally, we can work on the other shelf on the left. And it's Already night time, I'm so tired but we are going to finish this up. I'm moving Gabby Gabby down as well as Benson. The problematic part is Stretch because she's too big. So I had to find an interesting way to display her. Kinda like she's sticking on the wall looking down at you. Yes? Please agree with me, I don't have any other ideas. Big Baby, Lotso, Chunk. It took a while to figure out how to squeeze everyone on this shelf. But in the end, I placed Big Baby here to kind of secure Stretch, Chunk in front to secure Stretch, Twitch on the riser to secure Stretch, and Sparks in front, and we have Lotso on the riser with the clock. Wait, what? That's the wrong character, sorry. I'm so tired. It's, uh, this should be the bookworm, yes, my bad. And lastly, the bottom shelf. We have no choice but to have Bonnie's toy together with Gabby Gabby. We have Cheryl, and I tried putting Dolly and the rest on the chair but it didn't feel right. Uh, so I put Chuckers on the chair instead. I forgot about Bo Peep and I wanted to put her with Gabby Gabby for the Toy Story 4 shelf but there's no space. So she'll be here with the main gang for now. And I made some space for her ship and it's done! Toy Story display finally complete, kind of. Did you enjoy the process? I don't usually record things like this, but I wanted to test out the POV kind of format and maybe do unboxings with it so that it looks like you are unboxing the toys with me. So let me know if it's a good idea and I will make more in the future. This is how I display my creations and I hope it's helpful to some of you trying to display your own. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.